The Pistons nearly blew a lead last night to the Pelicans, but ended up escaping with a four-point win. Blake Griffin scored 37 points, grabbed nine rebounds, dished out seven assists. After the game, though, not pleased with his team's effort late. Let's take a listen to the entire exchange. Our lack of focus at the end of games has, has been awful. That's why we lose games like this. Um, so I, I, I'm not, I'm not necessarily, I'm happy with the win, but I'm not necessarily happy with how we close this game out. It was a great start for you guys tonight, and that has been an issue at times this season. How much did you kind of take it upon yourself to get guys going? I will get you in a minute. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. So we yeah. see Tracy's reaction. Yeah. Stan, a lot of these are your guys. Oh, you, you dealt with Reggie. You dealt with all of this. Please enlighten us about the dynamic here. Well, yeah, Blake, I think, great has been a great season, and he's a great leader. And following them, he's been talking about this all year, about them being too easily satisfied, about their lack of focus. Mm -hmm. So he also, I think, showed great understanding as a leader. When he was given that press conference, the best time – to, to really lead and criticize, if you will, is after a win mm -hmm. right. because mm -hmm. nobody's sensitive. So mm -hmm. he's trying to make that point. Sure. Reggie walks in. It's just he doesn't know what's going on in the interview. He's been struggling and had a good game. The team's been struggling and got a win. So he's just thinking it's time to celebrate. Blake wants more. It, yeah, the timing wasn't <laughs> good. Um, and I think it sort of illustrates maybe a little bit what Blake's talking about. It's just, you know, oh, yeah, I was, man. And this is yes. what I, was, I thought about, Yeah, Dwight too. didn't really know what we were talking about either. I've been Clear, through Clearly no. <laughs> no. I mean. Through some of that. Blake is just, you know, this is the difference between a, a team that um, wins a lot of games versus being mediocre, um, knowing how to close out games, right, versus having a one or two possession game versus man, your starter should be sitting because they had a double digit lead going into the fourth quarter. And then you have ill advised shot taken. You have, you know, this miscommunication on the defense man turnovers that right there causes you game. And I'm sure that's what he's speaking of. You know, these guys, Blake is playing great basketball. And as a, as a superstar player in this league that is having a phenomenal season, you want some time to rest. Yeah. You want to sit down and rest. But then it's in the fourth quarter. You look up. You know, it's a two, three possession ball game. You got to go back in. Guys don't like that. Well, and I think the other thing, though, that's great from Blake's standpoint, and, mm -hmm. and Tracy certainly knows this. I'm sure this is something, you know, their end of game focus that Dwayne Casey's been talking about yep. all year and on them and on them and on them. But a lot of times it means a heck of a lot more coming from a player who's got great credibility, mm -hmm. especially. And, and Blake's trying to take on that leadership role, which I think he's done a very good job of. Um, Reggie t Yo, just man, didn't have I, any idea. I if Reggie man. knew what was being well, yeah, said, let's give him credit. He wouldn't 100%. have walked in there. And that is spooky, but, man. But, but to your point, this might be a little bit about what Blake is talking about. That Blake would like more people after a game like that to be like, man, we almost blew it as opposed to, woo, woo, we won. Right. You know, that, yeah. that kind a, of thing. He's talked great, all year that he, he thinks they're too easily satisfied. It's a great teachable yeah. moment right there. Yeah. So. There you go.